Hi, I'm Chase Jarvis. In the time it takes you to sync your iPod, I'll show you all the basics about how we pack our essential photography gear for traveling and working on location. Whether you're an amateur shooter or an independent pro, you'll definitely pick up a few tips about transporting your photo equipment safely and efficiently. All right, it's time to do it. This is where we keep all our gear. Okay, I should take a second to introduce myself. I'm Chase Jarvis. So I'm a commercial photographer. I specialize in sports and lifestyle photography. And we've been for some time wanting to put together a video that shows how we pack our stuff. So actually, Scott, if you give me a hand just for a second here. Scott is my uh, right-hand man, and he knows what I'm thinking usually before I do. We'll just give you a tour of each one of those bags, and then uh, we'll show you how we kind of put it in larger bags to uh, get it out of here when we head on location. So let's start with the digital SLR bag first. I think this is the most common bag that most of uh, us photographers have. Uh, this is our basic kit. This is what we take everywhere. None of this stuff gets left behind for almost any reason. Uh, I'll just pull everything out on the table, and then uh, we'll move on to the next bag. So first things first, this is the Nikon D2X. Right now, it happens to have on it the 17 to 55 2.8. Uh, we've got a backup body right here. Uh, another one of those, very important in case something goes south. At least two bodies. We often take more, but at least two. Uh, another important lens for us is the 70 to 200 2.8. This is an 18 to 200. We use this as a scouting lens. It does come in handy when you want to put one uh, lens on a body and get out there and take a bunch of scouting pictures. So we always take that with us. Um, also the uh, 1224 f4, it's a good lens for us. The 85 tilt and shift comes in handy a lot. So again, all these things are, are uh, divided up with padding. Uh, low pro, we use uh, low pro bags. Remember what kind of bag this is, Scott? This is the uh, all weather Trekker, I think. Trekker AW. Yeah, Trekker all weather. This is uh, 105 fisheye, the 518. It's a good lens for us as well. We also keep a couple of flashes in the bag. We have more, but we always take two with us everywhere we go. These are the SB80DX. We uh, keep those around along with it. maybe an SB800 or two. Um, plenty of extra batteries. We usually take between two to five of these at any location day, just in case you can never have too many of those. There's also all kinds of miscellaneous chargers or in the actual bag. And, uh, and then we got uh, a pile of memory cards about this tall that lives in there as well. So that's the first digital SLR bag. The next thing we need to tell you about is the uh, lighting and accessories kit. Time we're using flash, this is the kit that we bring along. This kit also lives in the Omni uh, Trekker Extreme kit, which is that hard case from Low Pro with the uh, soft internal bag that fits right in there. This bag actually, let's demonstrate how that bag, yeah, that actually comes right out of there. So, uh, you know, if we're in adverse weather or for shipping, we like to use that thing. Um, but Scott will pull these things out of here. Now, as I mentioned, this is for light duty flash photography. It's got a lot of connectors and cords and stuff, and we keep all that stuff, as I mentioned, compartmentalized in one kit. We always have a few of these. What are these things again? Magic arms. <laughs> Magic arms, yeah. Uh, we've got a couple more that are being used right now. Uh, we usually have two or three of those things around. A couple extra uh, umbrella stands or kits. Um, we've got super clamps. We always have a few of those things around. These are great little tripods. We always keep these things around. Uh, what brand are these again? Ultrapods. Yeah, Ultrapods. These little guys, they uh, fold out like that. This is also holds an off-camera flash. So pocket wizards and electronic triggers. We kind of keep those things together in here as well. Um, I like the old school blue ones. Um, and we also have a couple of battery packs, the Quantum Turbo SC. We really like this one a lot. And this one's a little bit older, but we keep this one around for sure, the Quantum Turbo battery. You may have also seen our POV photography video. Those things live in here, the neoprene camera sleeves and whatnot. Um, anything, anytime we're using flash photography, this case goes with us for sure. Next thing we're going to show you guys is our laptop that always goes on location with us. That also lives in a Pelican case. Uh, it's the Pelican 1490. And if you haven't already seen our uh, laptop video, the Chase Jarvis Tech, uh, you should check that out. Uh, we won't give you the full details, but uh, we'll give you a quick rundown. We call this thing the road wire. Again, it goes everywhere with us. Um, in short, we've got our, our MacBook Pro in here with, with a, a couple of hard drives underneath there to uh, both have our main and our backups. We've got slots for uh, cards, we've got a shade, and again, highly recommended, and uh, we wouldn't leave home without it. 
this is a, a good time to close with a bunch of helpful tips. One of the th things that's really important for us to talk about is the worst case scenario. Uh, what we haven't outlined yet is we always travel whenever we're going anywhere with uh, at least one digital SLR body and one lens that can basically get us through a day. Say our gear didn't arrive, um, the airlines lost it, it got held up in customs, uh, whatever the situation, because that'll get us through any pinch that lives in either my or Scott's carry-on bag. Okay, second tip is uh, we realize that this video doesn't cover all of the productions. There's much larger productions where you got a lot of light cases and a lot of extra cameras going, but there's, there's also the smaller production where you've just got one photographer or a photographer and assistant that are working with just one DSLR or, or uh, maybe one or two bags. And in that case, we recommend that you carry that stuff on if you can. A lot of manufacturers uh, have roll aboard suitcases that, that meet the airline spec uh, that you can pack your gear in. In addition to the, uh, the opportunity to roll stuff on is put your camera bag into a duffel bag that's not a camera specific pack or doesn't, doesn't look to be one. Um, and we find that a lot of our, our bags that we demonstrated earlier, they fit nicely into a, uh, a bigger suitcase that you would check. Those things all work really well. Put that inside a rolling duffel just to kind of remove the uh, the glam factor of a button down metal or plastic case. So consider those options as well. It's really important that you know the specs and rules and regs for both your uh, expediter if you're using a shipping company, but more importantly your airline if you're flying either domestically or internationally. They all have very specific rules at the, at the carrier level. You should understand and know the TSA, the Transportation Security Administration rules. Um, one of the things that I like to do that uh, I didn't mention earlier is I like to print out those rules and regs that say what you can and can't do and have a copy with me. Um, you know, I, I usually put one of these in my briefcase. I often put them into the bags that we check such that when they open them and screen them, they know that we know what the rules are. Um, also, some helpful tips. Uh, this is printed off the Transportation Security Administration website. It says that you may carry on one bag of photograph equipment in addition to one carry-on and one personal item. You may take those three bags through the security checkpoint. So again, if you have this printed and with you, uh, you'll be able to get through security. Now, it's important to note that whether that, that your carrier can deny you the ability to take those on the plane. Um, but if you've got this, they'll usually let you on. They may ask you to check something at the gate and then walk it down and put it in the belly of the plane separately. But having these things off of uh, the TSA website, it's really helpful. Print it out, keep it with you. It's gold. If you're traveling with film, um, you should know that you have the right inside the U.S. to have that film hand inspected at any x-ray station. You can say, you pull it out, I like to keep them un, uh, you know, open those things up and take them out of their canisters and leave them in a clear plastic bag, a freezer bag works great, and walk right up uh, when it's your turn and say, I'd like to have these hand inspected. That's your right here in the United States. Note that that does not apply overseas. Okay, so a lot of this video has been really flight centric. We're traveling, we're flying somewhere, so we've packed according to weight and height specification. But keep in mind that uh, if you're traveling via car, you know, a lot of these concerns go out the window and you're free to take a lot of gear that you wouldn't normally otherwise take. It doesn't always apply that way. Sometimes you want to be lean and mean. So uh, as a last point, we'll leave you with, you should always consider the environment that you're going to be in. If you're shooting climbing photography, then you're going to want to be really lean and mean. Um, it's really important that you also keep in mind, you don't want to be too flashy with your stuff. I think, you know, if you put uh, big fancy uh, signs that say photographic equipment be fragile, you're just asking for it. So we try and fly under the radar. If you're going to be in inclement weather, you want to pack separately. Keep in mind that if you're uh, going to incur some travel hardships, if you have to travel via donkey, you probably don't want to travel with a bunch of extra uh, 7B batteries. You want consider, to keep it lean Consider the donkey. Yeah, consider the donkey. A little common sense and some uh, attention to detail and considering your travel environment, that's going to help you pack a little bit more efficiently and, and a little better. I know this has been a long one. Uh, we've tried to keep it short and succinct, but it just hasn't worked. So here's to you guys. Thanks a lot. Scott, it's been a pleasure.